Later today on Fox Kids, Batman the Animated Series returns. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the brand new NECA Toys, Batman the Animated Series Grapnel Launcher Replica. And if you were wondering, this little fantastic gadget is based off of Batman the Animated Series right there on the box. First it was Spider-Man the Animated Series last week, now we got Batman the Animated Series in some way, shape, and form back on the shelves. It is a 90s palooza again right another 90s renaissance amazing box art on this i absolutely love the compact nature of this box coupled with the old kenner style look of the batman the animated series figures i saw that orange i go that's that's the kenner artwork right there well done NECA toys i love seeing things like that and on the back side you get to see everything that the grab no launcher does i didn't really know what it does i was expecting other things but then when it did things that i didn't know it was going to do i was like that's pretty cool <laughs> launch grapnel by pressing red button retract grapnel by pressing small button reset by securing grapnel into locking gear and i'm not joking parents whatever whoever you're watching and if you're like i want to give this to my kid warning do not aim at eyes or face do not aim at your eyes or your face this thing comes out and when it launches it, it can hurt so <laughs> just that's my little warning to you and here's the other warning to you on the flip side you get to see of course the barcode and the batteries right so i'm not even joking i had to go to a few stores before i finally found the correct batteries for this these are lr1 or otherwise known as n batteries they look like a, a short fat little double a battery right and so <laughs> Yeah, I'm embarrassed to say how many stores they had to go to to actually get the correct batteries, right? In in terms of finding this and then getting this out and done. These are the end batteries. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. You can get them off Amazon because they only really sell them in two packs, which you need three. So on top of the launcher is gonna set you back 30 bucks, then you gotta buy almost at least eight, nine bucks in batteries. So <laughs> and if anybody has these batteries sitting at home. Well done. But uh, yeah, I'll have a link in the description below for multiple versions if you want to grab Here's the them. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab it. These are hitting Walmart stores now, and they are a quote-unquote Walmart exclusive, meaning they get it first to market, and then give it like a month or two, and then these will start showing up at other retail outlets. Like Target, Batman's Grapple Launcher. Everyone knows this thing from Batman the Animated Series. Everybody wanted this thing. From Batman the Animated Series. Kenner never made this. No one's really ever made it. But you know what? NECA, Dagnabbit, they made it. The best best utilization of the grapple is uh, in Batman Mask of the Phantasm right at the end. Where it makes a completely different sound than Batman the Animated Series. But whatever, it was still amazing. I love how way it shot out and the little light hits Batman. Anyways, according to my Fleer Ultra Trading card of Batman the Animated Series. Batman's grappling gun. Having this all this time, yeah, definitely served a purpose. Compact and lightweight, Batman's grappling gun fires a grapple hook and line. This incredible device can carry the Cape Crusader into action or lift him to safety instantly with its retractable line. And that's what I hope to see exactly happen with this new NECA grapnel launcher replica. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Walmart first to market, elsewhere later, Batman the Animated Series Grapnel Launcher Replica by NECA Toys. And here's the Batman Grapnel Launcher or Grapple Launcher. I've said it both ways, I think, during this video, but you could call it the Grapnel or Grapple Launcher. But in either case, this thing is pretty sweet. I gotta give it to him all day. And I'll show you exactly how to you know, undo the cover, put the batteries in, yada, yada. But make sure you order the batteries ahead. If you have plans to get this, I guess, you know, or if you find it in stores, yeah, grab the batteries. But, um, hey, maybe you can go to your local Vons like I did, and they had them at, check your grocery stores. That's all I'm going to say. But this thing rocks. One gripe, quick thing, is that I wish it had a stand. This does not come with a stand. This is something I used to prop it up. But I just really wish that it had this just because it looks so cool like that. But as you can see, it has all of that really cool dark deco type architecture to Batman the Animated Series and it translates well to the actual 
grapnel launcher. Now, there is a couple instances on mine where the plastic gets a little scraped, a little cut here and there, but it's really simple. Simply undo the cover. There you go. There's all the batteries in there, all the little teeny tiny little weirdo batteries that you got to get for this and just pop the screw right back in. Get your favorite screwdriver right there and bingo bango. This, I can't tell you, this is so cool. They, they did a great job on this. You got the big red button right there. And then inside, yeah, you can see the grapnel and it's it's a little bit, it's got a heft to it. It's a little heavy. Flip it around and uh, you put it right between, you know, your fingers and everything else and you're going to fire it. And it's just, that's Batman the Animated Series. How is it taking this long to make this? Every kid would have played with this thing. But let's take Batman, right? Batman the Animated Series from the McFarlane stuff and here's one of the grapnel launchers that came actually with the white knight that kind of shares stuff with batman the animated series in the comic book form by the way let me know if you want me to do some kenner batman the animated series but yeah take the white knight take batman the animated series either one now uses this specific type of grapnel launcher and as you can see yeah it translates well although i will say the NECA one because it's got the red button works a lot better also mondo toys did do a really nice batman 1 6 scale with some grapnel launchers and such with the red button but this thing is real life, baby. I'm going to go swinging off the top of my roof, I think, right? <laughs> Don't. You'll kill yourself. Let's put Shriek right here for lack of a... He was in the Batman, Bruce Tim animated universe, whatever. And then I'll show you exactly how this works. Now, of course, it's not really a weapon unless you're fighting like Clayface or something like that. But we're going to use it as like a projectile just to show you exactly what it does. So kind of Shriek right there and one, two, three, pull the button in boom that's awesome look at that in slow motion just taking shriek down right there. Went down hard that thing is so cool here's the other cool part about it this button right here is the retractor button and you simply just push this and yeah retracts it right back in and then you have to physically push the grapple grapnel back in just like this you may have to twist it to get it to go in exactly it's not going to be like instantaneous push it right down you kind of have to find the sweet spot but once you got it in there holds it well spring loaded let's do it again god that is so satisfying look at that that's so awesome if only if it was real right oh man that would be so awesome and then you simply just retract it right there bingo bango you got yourself an awesome Batman the Animated Series grapple launcher. If you're wondering how it compares with, let's say, the recent Batman NECA 89 Batarang right here, it's roughly about the same size in its width. And then size-wise, I mean, it's going to look great, especially since you can kind of make the Batarang more compact. But yeah, it'll fit really nicely on your Batman nerd shelf, that's for sure. If you're wondering how long the string is for the Grabnel launcher, it's roughly about 30 inches long, give or take. But in either sense, it retracts nice, shoots nice, it looks good, sounds good. I think if it would have had a stand, it would have been like Aces Plus. I mean, I already love this thing. But, I mean, if it could have had sounds, like it made the Batman the Animated Series sound as you push the button, like, you know, whatever that is, that would have been even just more icing on the cake. The color's right, the red button's there, the grapnel launcher's there. I love the Art Deco scheme on it. It's so cool. So, that's really going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys Batman the Animated Series grapnel launcher replica. I would say the only thing is maybe the $30 price point, right? It's maybe 20 bucks, maybe, you know, eh, 30 on the high end, especially since you got to buy the wackadoo batteries. But in either sense, I think if you have a Batman shelf, animated series shelf, you'll definitely be happy with it. And after all these years, thanks a lot, Kenner. I could did it, right? <laughs> but I'm curious to know what you guys think about this grapnel launcher replica. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing one? Have you already grabbed it? And what do you think? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Batman the Animated Series. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, just do not use this on a roof and or high-rise building. You will die. <laughs> when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.